how to upload a video to YouTube, a quick tutorial. Now let me show you how quick and easy this is. Let's start a timer to see how long it takes. So from youtube.com or YouTube studio, you can upload your video, click on the create icon, click on upload video. And then from here, what you wanna do is to go to wherever you have the file saved. Here is one of the videos for our personal finance channel, Greater Than Enough. This is recorded in 1080p, it's around eight minutes, so it's close to a gigabyte. We'll see how long this takes to upload. The video is gonna to start to upload. YouTube will take whatever you have for the video file name and add that to the title. This is what I wanna call the video, so need, no need to change it, but if it's like C345 and you want to put an actual video title, you can just update this however you'd like. The next thing to do is to fill in the description. We already wrote this in Notion where we manage all of our content. So I can open up Notion, copy the description, and then paste it in like so. After the description, we'll scroll down a little bit further. Here's where you add your thumbnail. You don't wanna use the three options below that it just pulled in from your video. You actually wanna go and create your own thumbnail. We have a tutorial for that. I'll put it down below in the description. Here is our thumbnail open. There we go. Scrolling down further, here's where you add the video to playlist. So this is a video about a updated credit card. We would add this to our credit card playlist. Then click on done. Scrolling down further, no, this video is not made for kids. So we'll leave that selected like so. And then we wanna click on show more. Paid promotion, so if you do any sponsored content, you work with brands, you'll wanna select this checkbox right here. This video is not. Scrolling down further, here are the tags. So this is where you're gonna put in the tags or keywords related to this video. This is less and less important given that YouTube knows what your video is about, they know what you're saying, it can read the title and the description, but we always fill this in. It can't hurt, right? So that's also within Notion, which we have down here. So if you have multiple tags like this, you wanna use a comma to separate them. So if we copy and then we want to paste these in like so, they're gonna show up with tags for each of the phrases. That's all for this page, so we're gonna click on next. Then these next two screens are for monetized channel. You need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. We have a video that walks you through that. I'll link to it in the card right here. So monetization, we want to turn on, click on done, click on next. Now we have ad suitability. So basically here, YouTube wants to know, is there any swearing, guns, violence, or a whole list of other things. Our videos have none of that, so we always scroll to the bottom and click on none of the above, submit rating, and then click next. Now we have the video element section. The thing is this video hasn't finished uploading, so we're not gonna be able to add subtitles, end screens, or cards until the video is uploaded. So I'll be back in a second. Imagine if you're watching this video, you're just getting started on YouTube. If you want our help creating your channel, coming up with video ideas, and recording, editing, and publishing your first four videos, we have a new YouTube course for beginners. There's live sessions where we'll answer all of your questions. You'll get your channel set up, your first videos recorded, and start growing on YouTube. If you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description below. Now that the video finished uploading, we can go in and add the video elements. Subtitles we don't generally add. YouTube will auto-generate those for you, and for us, that's good enough. The next thing would be the end screen. To add that, you click on add right here. And so there's a few options here. You can import from your latest video. They give you a few templates or you can go in and add element by element. A few things to keep in mind is your end screen elements can be added from the last five seconds to the last 20 seconds. So a minimum time needs to be five seconds and it can't be longer than 20. So let's go and add an element. Here's what you can add, a video, playlist, subscribe button, channel, or link. Let's add a video. So you have the most recent, best review, or a specific video. So specific video, let's add this one. Then let's go and add a playlist. We'll add our credit card playlist. Any of these elements you can move around like so. They can't be overlapping though. Then the time that you want them on screen, you can go in and adjust by grabbing one end or the other. Then let's go and add one more. Let's add our subscribe button. So we'll put that in the bottom corner like so. And we want that showing for just a minimum the last five seconds. Let's have these both go on screen at the same time. If we're good with that, we wanna click on save. Then let's go in and add cards. So for cards, I wouldn't add them 
at the very beginning of the video, you will, you don't want to send someone off screen in the first minute or a couple minutes. We would recommend adding them in the second half of the video, if at all. So again, here you have a few options. You have videos, playlist, channel, or links. So video, let's add this one and let's add it at minute seven. So you can add up to five cards in any of your videos. We're done with that. Let's click on save and then click on next. Then we have checks for copyright as well as ad suitability. This may take a little while to show up, so we're just gonna click on next. And then here's where you actually publish the video. So we have three options up top, so you can save it as a private video, so you need to add people individually to be able to view it. An unlisted video won't show up on your channel or anywhere on YouTube, just where someone has a link to the video, they'll be able to view it. So if you want to send it to a friend or colleague to have them watch it before you publish, you'd want to save as unlisted and then share the link with them. You can publish the video as public right now and it shows up on your YouTube channel or what we end up doing most of the time is scheduling our content. So if this is a video that I want to publish tomorrow, not right now, but I don't want to think about it between now and it being published, I would just click on schedule. So today is the 27th, I would choose the 28th and then let's publish. Usually for the finance channel, we publish in the late afternoon. So let's say 4 p.m. So we're all set there. Click on schedule. Video processing your video will be set to public on July 28th at 4 p.m. after the standard definition finishes processing. All right, so we're good to go. Let's click on close. And then the video is going to go live tomorrow. That's how easy it is to upload a video to YouTube. Now, if you wanna learn how to record amazing videos with just your cell phone, check out this video right here. And if you wanna learn how to get your first 100 subscribers, check out the video below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.